Hello YouTubers and fellow hams. This is my SDR play, RSPDX. This is now my favorite SDR receiver under Linux. What? Linux? This was donated to the channel around four years ago, maybe five. Um, I did a video back then on installing it under Linux and back then it was a bit of work. Their uh, API was a little bit sketchy, um, a little buggy, locked up occasionally. Performance wasn't all that great. You didn't really get access to all the features of the hardware. Uh, and it was a, kind of a pain to get going under Linux. Well, over the last couple of years, that has changed. Big time. In fact, this is now probably one of the easiest SDR hardware receivers to set up under Linux. And it is a beautiful piece of, of hardware too. The features this thing has, the sensitivity of it, the range, this goes from uh, well down to uh, the kilohertz range, well up into microwave. Um, very sensitive receiver. And now with their software improvements under Linux, their support for Linux, and I think they also support Mac as well now, not just Windows only anymore. Um, it works with everything. There's a SOPI SDR module for it, which SOPI SDR is a framework that supports different SDR hardware. And then any software that run, that supports SOPI SDR gets access to all that hardware. So it's like a, a, a man in the middle, an API. Um, and so this works with every Linux SDR application now that supports SOPI SDR, which is pretty much all of them. And it's really easy to set up. It's painless to set up. Not only that, SDR Play has their own SDR program now called SDR Connect that's cross-platform. It's available on Windows, Mac, and Linux. All three. Uh, so yeah, they've really done a great job improving their Linux support. So I'm going to walk you through installing their API, their software, and then building the SOPI SDR module to get access to this great hardware from all your other Linux SDR applications. And I'm going to do it on my Lenovo. <clears throat> I got the cheapest laptop that Best Buy sold a couple of years ago when I was uh, first sick with uh, long COVID. Under Windows, it was useless. <laughs> it was ridiculous. Under Linux, it's great. But I have never installed any of the SDR software on here. So we're going to go through a fresh install of SDR Plays software, build the SOPI SDR module, and get GQRX working with it as well. So let's go to the computer. All right, the first place we're going to want to go is to sdrplay.com slash downloads. That'll bring us to the downloads page. Now, there are two things that we're going to need to download. Obviously, we're going to need their API. This is the interface to the hardware. An application programming interface is what API stands for. And this gives a standard set of commands that applications can use to talk to the hardware, and it translates those to the actual hardware commands. So we will download that first. I'm going to right-click on the API page and open in a new tab, but you can just click on this to uh, open it up. So we're on the API page. Um, this is a fairly fairly nice website that they have, by the way. You can translate to other languages right here if you're not using English. But we'll scroll down here, and we can see that they have three download buttons for Windows, Linux, and Mac. So they're, they're supporting all three platforms. So I'm going to go to the Linux tab and hit Download. And it's got a CAPTCHA. So we'll go ahead and click on this to download the API. And that should start the download. There it goes. The other thing I'm going to download is SDR Connect. This is their SDR program, which we'll look at as well. It's very nice. And it's, of course, multi-platform now, Windows, Linux, and Mac. So we'll go to the SDR Connect page. OK, you might see this with Chrome. The uh, unverified download blocked. That just means that they don't that Chrome doesn't recognize this as a safe binary. 
but that's okay. We can tell it to go ahead and download. You'll see this on the other program too. So I'm going to go ahead and say download unverified file. I know it's safe. It's coming from SDR Play. So that's downloaded. I should have pointed that out before. We'll see that again in a moment. So SDR Connect, we'll scroll down here to find their download link. There it is. Windows, Linux, and you see also there's an ARM version, which would be for the uh, Raspberry Pi. So I'm going to download the Linux x64 version. I'm running on an Intel processor. I'll hit that. And again, a CAPTCHA. We'll click this. And I should probably end up getting another warning. Yeah, unverified download blocked. So I will go ahead and say download it anyway. While this is downloading, we'll go ahead and install the API. So I'm going to go to my Downloads folder. And here you will see SDR Play RSP underscore API Linux dot run. So this is a shell script. You can run it with most Linux distributions from the graphical interface here. You might have to right click on it, select Properties, and go to Permissions and select Execute, Allow Executing File as Program before you can run it. I can right click in my downloads folder and select open in terminal and it will open a terminal in that directory. See I'm in, in the downloads directory. So from here I can run the program directly. If I do an ls you'll see it's right here. I'm going to copy that so I don't have to type it all in. So I'm going to do an sudo SDR play API Linux run. So this will run the, their installation script as root. Uh, and then that will install the, uh, the API into the system. It's going to remind us that it has to be run as root, which we are. I'm going to hit return to view the license agreement. And we can read this, and you probably should, and we'll space down through it once we've read it. I can now hit Y to begin the installation. So it's going to tell you what it's going to install and where it's going to put it. And we can say yes to accept that. And it installs. Now their API is installed, just that easy. We'll have to do the same thing now with the SDR Connect program. Okay, now that SDR Connect has finished downloading, I did an ls in my downloads folder and we can see it's right here SDR connect underscore Linux dash x64 with a release number I guess and run. Now again we're gonna have to set this as executable like I did from the uh, window and the graphic interface before. I'm gonna copy the file name I'll show you the way to do it from the command line chmod plus x dot slash meaning the current directory and then the file name that has now set that as executable so now I can run it dot slash and the command name again it's going to verify the archive and then it's going to tell us it's recommended that you run this installation as a regular user that has sudo capability to be able to install both the system and user parts of this install which we are doing so let's go ahead and return to view the license agreement again. It's pretty much the same boilerplate license. And I'll hit Y to continue. Installing the SDR Connect follows. By default, SDR Connect will be installed into slash opt SDR Connect. You can choose um, where else you'd like to install it, but we're fine with that. Do you want to continue? Yes create a new menu entry. Sure, I'd like it to create a new menu entry in my system. Installation has finished. Just that easy. At this point, we should be able to run SDR Connect and see the SDR Play. Let's go try that. All right, I have just plugged in my SDR Play. I've got it connected up to my disco and antenna. I'm going to come up here to my menu, and they put it in Other. There it is, SDR Connect. And this is SDR Connect, their SDR program. And you can see it found my SDR Play. 
we are ready to go. Just installing their API in this program, we are ready. Yeah, we're kind of picking up WWV. It's a little weak. I'm on the discount antenna. But as you can see, it's working. Just like that. We didn't really have to do much at all to get it working under Linux. Just install their programs and we're done. Well, basically for their, for their software. So great. It works right out of the box real easy with SDR Play's software. Now, to get the other Linux apps running, we're going to have to build, compile the SDR Play module for Soapy SDR. Don't let that scare you. It's real easy. Uh, just a few steps, a few simple terminal commands that we'll copy and paste. So let's go back to the computer and set up that. Okay, in order to enable the support for other Linux programs, we're going to need to install something called Soapy SDR. This is the github for their plugin for the SDR play. I'll put a link in the video description below. Uh, but before we can build it, if I scroll down here, there is instructions. Here we go. Right here. But before we can do any of this, we need to install a build system. Compilers and all that good stuff that we need in order to build this software. Now this is really not that hard. This, these simple steps are going to build it once we install some stuff. To install things under a Debian ins based installation I like to use Synaptic Package Manager. What I like about Synaptic Package Manager is you get to see all the dependencies that are being installed and it makes it easy to find things. <laughs> So for example, the first thing we're going to need, if you don't already have it, is build essential. So I'm going to search for build-ess. There it is at the top, build-essential. Now it's already marked green because I've already installed it, but what you'll need to do is uh, click on this checkbox and select uh, mark for installation. Along with build essential, we're going to need CMake. So we'll type in CMake, and here it is. Again, I've already installed it, but you'll want to check this box and select Mark for installation. There's one other thing that we're going to need, and that is the development files to build Soapy SDR. So I'm going to search for Soapy SDR dash dev. And this is it here, lib soapy sdr dash dev. These are the development files. You need these whenever you're going to compile anything. Um, you should, you'll have to search for whatever the thing is in the dev. So I'm going to mark that for installation as well. It's already marked on mine. Okay, uh, what else do we need? <clears throat> the rest of the support stuff for soapy will come in if we install something like GQRX. So GQRX which is uh, one of the software defined radio receiver programs. Uh, check that as well to install that. And that will give us the rest of the SOAPI SDR framework. So once we've got those checked, hit apply here to install. And it'll take a little while, but once those are all installed, then we will be ready to build um, SDR play support. For SOAPI. SOAPI SDR is a middleman. It's kind of like an API for all the different SDR hardware. So anything, any program like GQRX that supports SOAPI will automatically get access to all the different um, SDR hardware that SOAPI SDR supports. So that's, it's a very useful little framework. Okay, we're going to open a terminal window. And we are going to do this installation. Now what you might want to do is you might want to make a directory uh, to do this in so that after it's all done you can just simply delete that directory. So I'm going to, in the terminal, type CD capital D desktop here. And I'm going to make a directory called uh, SOAPY. And I'll CD into SOAPY. And we'll do everything inside of here. So after I'm done installing this, I can just go to my desktop and delete that SOAPY folder to clean up. 
All right, so the first thing that we're going to do... Oh, we need Git. Ah, there's one other thing that we need. I'm sorry. You might not have this installed, so we need that as well. You know what? We can just do that from the command line. Here in the terminal, I can type sudo apt install git. It's telling me it's already the newest version because I've already got it installed. But in your case, it will probably install it. So once you've got git installed, we can come over here and copy this line, go back to our terminal, and you have to do a shift control V, or you could right click and select paste. And we'll run that command. That will go out and download this entire GitHub for Soapy. Then we're just going to follow the steps in here. We can copy and paste if we if we want, because this is case sensitive. This uh, capital S and this capital S D R P is important. Paste that in, change into the directory. I'm just going to type from here on because it's not that much to type. M K D I R space build is the next step. C D build. C make. Dot, oops, space, dot, dot. And then CMake checks your system and makes sure that everything is there that's needed and it looks good. And then we'll type make. And a, a trick with make, if you type a dash J and the number of processor cores you have in your system, it'll use those and compile a little bit faster. If you know that. I know I've got two cores on this old Lenovo, so I'm going to say just J2. And it'll go just a little bit quicker. And now it will compile the plugin, which shouldn't take too long. Okay, it's done. Now I can type sudo make install, the last step. And it's done. We now have support for the SDR Play with all of our other uh, SDR software. And let's run GQRX. Now when GQRX comes up, you're going to want to hit this little um, configure I.O. devices. Under device here, click, and that will show you all of the um, hardware that's available. And you can see right here, it recognized my SDR Play Dev Zero RSPDX with a serial number. So it recognized it right off the bat. It's working. If I hit OK and I hit play, it starts. Turn that volume down. I'm on the wrong antenna. Yeah. Oh, you can see here if I go to the input controls, we have the SDR Play's hardware settings. So I'm going to select my antenna A. And there we go. Look at all that, those shortwave stations I'm picking up over here. <laughs> so it's working. 22 minutes, coordinated universal time. AM, okay. So there you go. It's pretty easy. You can get an SDR play running under Linux real quick and easy nowadays. That's wonderful. This is now my new favorite SDR hardware. I, I used to like the AirSpy, but the AirSpy is even harder to set up now than this, and this outperforms it. I know they're a bit pricey um, compared to like you know the NoLX or the AirSpy, but it's really premium hardware. The performance is great. So I hope that was helpful for you if you have an SDR play. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not already a subscriber, click to subscribe. Join us on the Facebook channel for discussion about the videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please click to support me on my Patreon page.